So what is a car alternator? Hello everyone, you are watching the alternator and generator channel of Mr. Electron. More about that later. So an alternator is a machine that is installed in an internal combustion engine operated vehicle. May it be a bike, a car, a bus, etc. with a single objective of producing electricity which is necessary for charging the battery for operating its headlights, indicators, engine starters, etc. First car alternator was installed in Plymouth Valiant in 1960 by Chrysler Corporation. This marked a significant advancement in automotive technology. Thus, dynamo generators which used those weak permanent magnets as field to generate electricity got replaced because the generated power was very less and could not fulfill the ever-rising demand of electricity in vehicles. And thus, the alternator revolutionized the automobile industry because instead of the low power permanent magnet, it used an exceptionally high power electromagnetic rotor which was capable of producing multiple times more magnetic strength plus that could also be controlled by controlling the power being fed to the rotor. An alternator has three main components. The armature, the rotor and the rectifier. First, the armature contains very thick copper windings in the form of star or delta which means some armature windings have four output wires while some might have only three. Although both types represent a three-phase winding, it's a stationary part of an alternator. The function of this armature winding in a 12 volts type car alternator is to produce around 16 to 17 volts AC with some very high generated output amperes depending upon the alternator being used. Second, the rotor or field. As the name suggests, this is a moving part. Now, the rotor produces a very high electromagnetic field that is generated because of the presence of copper windings present in between the teeth of the rotor. And these windings get their power from the battery it charges or the armature windings after it achieves the self-excitation. This electromagnet has two slip rings which are responsible for charging up the coil. These slip rings are in constant contact with the carbon brushes to keep the coils magnetized even at high RPMs. Now, once this rotor gets magnetized, it doesn't matter how strong the produced magnetic field is, it cannot do anything on its own until it has been rotated through an external force and this rotation creates a rotating magnetic field that induces EMF in the armature winding which then produces electricity. Third comes the rectifier. Now this rectifier is made up of high ampere metal diodes which is responsible for converting the three phase output current from the armature to direct current or DC for charging the batteries. Although the voltage regulator also plays an important role in limiting the overall generated output voltage from going beyond 14 volts for 12 volts alternator category and 28 volts for a 24 volts alternator category to ensure overall safety. That's it. The great news is that from now on, this channel is going to be strictly dedicated to the alternator and generator videos with all of its content in English plus subtitles in different languages. Also, in total, I have three channels now. The first one is my main Mr. Electron channel. The second one is the Mr. Electron alternator channel, which is this one. And the third one is my Mr. Electron Hindi channel that I have just started. So if you are a Hindi viewer, make sure that you go and subscribe. On top of all this, I've also launched my patrons membership page, which means that from now on, if you have queries or you want to take a deeper dive into the topic that I cover through my videos, then this page is for you. So make sure that you check out its membership box. So that's all for today. See you next time.